Hi everyone, welcome to a Z review. If you see a smudge in the lens of the camera at any point during this video, that means you're a winner. And you can contact me for your free prize at Zeos Reviews Totally Is Real. Gonna give a gift titties.com. I'm not an AI. Uh. Hi. Zeo Spentera, the host of Z Reviews and Inner Fetish and all the other channels that I run. Um, this is the Fio R7. And it's actually relatively affordable, $750, because it's everything you need to play music. Like, just that's it's everything. Um, I've reviewed products like this before. This will be the latest one that I did before this one. This is the Shandling uh, EM7. I don't know what the deal is with sevens. But um, this one's $2,200 and weighs as much as like an armor plate for the tanks from World War One, And I really like it. I really like it, but the EM5 came out and was roughly this price. And I'm like, why would you buy that? So this is actually the affordable end of this. The all-in-one desktop solution, Android running... Android running, volume knob having, headphone outing, digital outing, card reading, Wi-Fi having, Ethernet. We're going to look over the back of the whole thing. And I could also control it via the app. Now, the problem I always had with, like, the Shandling ones is they tried to do a horizontal screen. On the original EM5, it was a fixed horizontal screen on top, but you had to actually go over the top of the unit to see it. This one, as I just showed you, had an articulating screen that folded up. And Fio said, fuck that, we're gonna do a vertical unit. And I don't hate this. It feels kind of like a cop-out because like you're just putting a phone in a pretty box and it is a very pretty box. It is very pretty. It is just like, I had to add some flair to the top because that is just so I don't cut myself because it'd be there'd not enough waifus when it's off. Which by the way, clock. Did it just change time? What time is it? Um, that right over, right off the bat, the fact that you could put this next to your bed and it could just be a flip style clock forever. Like it was just in my bedroom for a while and that's cool. I like the, uh, the colored, LED rings around the knobs change based on either what your preference is or input settings or a whole bunch of other things. And they could be solid colors or pulsing or off. You have your choice. Uh, it's not a very large unit. It's a lot better for integrating into like a cramped desk. There it goes, changed. Then something like this, because you don't need access to the top of it. You can just literally store this away. And it has these giant vents in the side, which it there's a, oh, I'll just take the fucking side off because uh, I was looking at it on this side. I'm like, how the hell do you get this side off? This is, there's no screws. And then I realized the screw covers were just literally stickers. And then I replaced the screws with gray tack. Boom. Look at the inside of this. How do you make it so you can't see the beauty that is? I, I was just able to see barely through the screen. I'm like, what's in there? You got a big plate labeled ESS ES 9068AS, which is the DAC. You got another big plate labeled dual THX AAA 788 plus, which is the amp because this has full balanced headphone out 4.4 and a uh, four pin and quarter inch and the back, which we're going to have to get to. It's so pretty in here. God, I'm going to put this back on with the, with the gooey, the gooey stuff is holding that in place just for effect. The back, if I can turn this around, because there's a lot coming out of it. Like there's a lot. Like there's like this 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 isn't gonna work, is it? Alright. Let's just power the unit off. Power shut down. I'm shutting it down because I was told via reading the fucking menu. Because the only place right now that has it, I'm not sure if Theo sent this to me directly or if it was Hi-Fi Go or if it was Apos. Because Apos carries it. But Hi-Fi Go is the only place that actually has this listed for sale at 750. So it might be cheaper elsewhere at some point, or it's probably all going to be the same thing. I'm shutting it down so we can now unplug literally goddamn everything. This is so... Uh, why did I do this? I feel like I wasted my time plugging all of this in. Oh, 
and I could take these off. Argons, um, I was testing with the Nana Collab. If you haven't seen my Nana Collab, I do have <laughs> quite the expensive IM collaboration from Kinera. Uh, I'll link to the, I'll link to it in the description. Uh, we'll turn this around. Here's what the back of the unit looks like. Starting from here, vent hole. Even though there's just giant mesh here, let's add some more vents, we need it. This is a full size SD card. And I miss these being a thing, like everything's gone to micro SD, but I just feel like I could, I won't lose this as much. And these things should be like four gigs, four terabytes by now, four gigs, four terabytes by now, but they're not. And they're actually more expensive than the micro SDs. So you're probably gonna use an adapted one. I stole this out of the M5. This is a 256 gig I bought. But I just, I feel like if you have the space, why would you go with a micro? It's just, I want a bigger, I want a bigger non-losable fucking SD card. Thank you. Um, USB 3, which is actually your USB connection for like a computer. I'm sorry, I, you're not having any waifus, Joyce. There you go. Um, which if you wanted to connect it to a computer, it acts as a USB. That would be it. Below that is a USB host. So you could actually plug it in and host an external hard drive or I believe an external DAC because it's in the selection menu for the outputs. We'll get to that. We could do that. Um, we've got two sets of RCA lineouts, which is nice because usually it's just one set of RCA lineouts. And even though you could literally get a, an RCA splitter and accomplish this, the fact that it gives you two off the bat is nice. You get your full balance lineouts, which I have going to the Kali Ion 5s back there, which are just like oh, peak fucking speaker right now i have kali sending me new things and i've got fluid sending me their monster image twos zeos link the fluid image twos you're going to open that web page and shit your pants if i whisper can i curse on youtube more freely fuck titty fuck okay um so yeah you got these outputs there's a switch in the front we could choose that here's the biggest crux and i get to some of the issues as i'm going along you can't pick which ones of these are working. They're all on and they're either all line out or they're all pre out. And you can't like disable the RCA when you're using the XLR and you can't disable the XLR when using the RCA. So if you're plugging multiple things like I had set up on the desk to test. You get it all, all time. Fuck you. You get optical in and coaxial in. Um, I'm feeding this from the computer with uh, optical in. And I'm also, it's also reading off its own card, so it's got its own thing. It also has optical out and coaxial out. So I'm coaxial out into the TA22 here. I'm RCA out into the Chaamp from Earman, and I'm XLR outing to the Ion 5s. Uh, here's your LAN plug. You don't need to use this. I mean, here's the thing. If you're streaming, if you're doing a lot of streaming, because it is an Android player, you can load title, you can load MQA, you can, well, never load MQA. If MQA was its own app, then I could just say, ha, 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 and never install it. But it's built into other things. But if you're doing like heavy streaming, I would go with a wired connection. Here is the Wi-Fi antenna. It is currently Wi-Fi. It found a, an update on the, in the firmware and just downloaded it as I started this review. Um, biggest problem I have with certain things, like if I'm inputting to the fiber optic from the computer, I no longer get the ability to output via SPDIF. So it was getting music source into it and I was able to use the headphone amp built into it, but I wasn't able to pass that through to external devices. I would play the speakers fine, but I couldn't pass through the digital output to the TA-22 anymore. Just getting this out of the way while I remember it. Now we get to the interesting part. This has a full size uh, ISO plug, like a full 110 plug here. Uh, actually it's 100 to 240 volt, 30 watts. But I also have a 12 volt DC three amp input and you get to pick with a switch. Now it comes with just a power cable that you plug into the wall. I'm using these uh, mono price hospital cables because they're so fucking nice. I've never like, I don't tell people to buy expensive audio cables or power cables, buy the mono price hospital cables because they're so fucking nice. So you could see if there's scorching so that the oxygen in the room doesn't explode. So I've been using this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna drop that on the floor because I read on the Hi-Fi Go page here, works on both AC-DC power, by the way, AC-DC, fuck yeah. Um, the R7 can work on both AC-DC, blah, blah, blah. DC mode provides improved sound quality with a high quality external power supply. And I'm like, well, fuck. They don't include it because at $750, 
honestly, th- their portables are seven hundred fifty dollars. So having this whole unit means they're not cheaping out, but they weren't going to include an external brick. I'm thinking IFI stuff. I'm thinking maybe I go get the the little top. But you know what I fucking got? I got this thing. My friend made me buy this a couple years ago. Dan, the IT man. This is an eleven amp, twelve volt, mean well motherfucker is all I can call this. This is like $70. And you know what I used to use it for? You're going to laugh. It wasn't audiophile stuff. This actually powered, well, it was kind of audiophile stuff. My old apartment, I had an SA36 amplifier Velcroed to the wall by my shower with the Kovo S's on the ceiling and also the LED lights that never turned off. And I was using like cheap 10 amp power bricks to run everything and they would blow out. So he's like, buy this, never had another problem. So I'm gonna plug this in, even though I've jankly extended it. We're gonna see if I blow it up. If I blow it up, I wanted to do it on camera. And I'm going to probably pause the camera at some point and give my assessment, because I've been listening to this thing for days. And if I can improve the sound quality using a massive DC fucking input, well, then I'll have to tell you that. That's part of my job as a reviewer. It just didn't specify that little blurb anywhere in the manual. So now I guess I'm gonna rehook all this. In fact, let's put this to DC. Let's plug this in. I think those wires are still good. I guess we hit the power button and see if she loads. And then I'm gonna pause the camera and I'll give a little bit more of an assessment. Please load, please just turn on. It's loading, there's no battery in it. So that means this is doing the job. So this is inconvenient, but if you have another good high quality, do I have anything that's like actually like small and nice? Oh shit, no, it's 15 volt, damn it. Hold on, we're taking a walk. Before, let that load, it takes a bit, a minute to boot. Theo is still using some older stuff. What are you? You're 12 volt, 1.5 total amps, see that's the problem. All right, I was gonna try to use the, um, that's the power supply for the Earmin cha amp and all the other earman stuff but it's only 1.5 amps which means it's not going to have it let me just double check now that i'm using dc if i go to the gain settings where are the gain settings okay there are five of them low medium high super high and ultra high instead of being i don't know i feel like i guess ultra is better than super there's ultra cars and there's ultra and the hyper as hyper would be the next one above that I feel like medium should always be in the middle and there should be a like low, super low, high, super high, and then maximum. That would be the way I would label it, whatever. And here's the thing, we can reuse this right now with just that plugged in. We don't need any of this bullshit. This thing is completely self-contained and you get your waifu, which I had to, you know how hard it is to fucking find a waifu wall? I had to go to Reddit on the Chrome app. But now I've got a widget on the side. It actually does have the Play Store and everything. So you could use the app or you can just go boom, clicked let me tell you i'll tell you in six seconds if this is improved because it was pretty fucking good from the start you know what these are the argons these are like the headphone for testing how hard until the new mod house planner which by the way looks ah uh, and sounds even more of that. Um, until that comes out, that'll be the test. <laughs> the gold version of that when it comes out in a year and a half or two years is like trying to launch the space shuttle. It's like 70 decibels of sensitivity. It's hilarious and amazing. This actually might legitimately sound better. Like I'm just giving you like the live impression. Oh yeah, no, there's more low end this. So now that, that I do, you know, I don't usually believe. Whoa. The fuck? Geschaffelstein, piece of future. So now here's one thing. I, all right, some other problems with this. Number one, you can't change tracks with a physical control. You can change the volume, and it brings up this cool display, which is trying to be like a race car. And you could touch it if you wanted to, and it goes from zero to 120. And it says gain equals ultra high. Um, once you change that, you have to tap the screen to get out and then you have to be, if you're in an Android thing, there's no way for you to change the tracks without either the, is, is your brother back? He's outside, I have the door cracked. He's just gonna yell. 
That's the Drake. He doesn't want to look at me. Anyway, I have found that if I launch, so if I have this playing, and I load the Fio app for the first time, even though it's playing already, it now restarts the song. Because, like, the widget loads separately from the main, that, that's a small little caveat. I also noticed, because I had this upstairs when I was testing out the Broadman speakers in my bedroom. We're going to lower the hell out of that. Um, when I was testing the Broadman speakers in my bedroom, after a while, certain tracks would end, and you'd hear this, like, digital noise. It'd be like, and then the next track would start. And it was like, it wasn't every time, but it was enough to be like, that is happening consistently. And that even after the firmware update today, it still happens. It's not all the time and it's not ruinous and it's not like, <laughs> and it like scares you. It's just, you notice there's just like a little when it changes tracks. Now that could be the feel app. So feel free to load FUBAR on here and do the FUBAR controller thing. That's that's probably even better. Um, I would get Mango Player. If you don't like the feel app, you can change it. The, uh, although all the apps that you can remote control are kind of terrible right now. Um, but you can load anything on here to play. So we've got full Android controls here. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mode choose. Gives you Android mode, pure music mode, which gets you out of the Android player, which I guess we could switch over to. USB DAC mode, which is a USB-C in the back. Bluetooth receiving mode, so if you want this to just act as a her server, you turn your friend's phone on, your friend's like, hold on, I got a song to play, and you're using this to control speakers, boom. If you want to put on speakers, by the way, we just turn that to pre-out. And then nothing's plugged in, because I'm an idiot, um, or I'm lazy. So you got your mode choose, you got your gain settings, which we saw, uh, I'm since I'm on pre-out, it will remember the gain and volume settings per input and output, which is super fucking nice. Because you don't want to switch from your phone's out, which is set to ultra high and high, to your pre-out, which is your speakers, and have it be the same thing. It'll be the worst. So it is now set to low, and the volume is actually maxed out. So we'll lower that too. And it should remember. There is Fio Rune in here. Like I was saying, if you don't want to play her in this, this has Fio Rune. I don't have Rune. If you don't know what Rune is, bring $850 to buy the lifetime license for your music player. But if you're an audiophile and you've spent thousands and thousands of dollars, maybe Rune is right for you. They're not sponsoring me yet, so I'm not going to say that. As soon as they sponsor me, I'm going to put on the lamest fucking like, have you? I'm going to do the used car salesman for the Rune app. It's going to be great. Um, all to DSD is an option, which is interesting because when I have it set to all to DSD, if I plug this back in at least, which one is the output? This one is the output. Oh, God. So now the TA-22 is getting fed off of this. Uh, even though I'm set to pre-out or phones out, it should always be getting set to this. You know, so it's constant output through the digital inputs or digital outputs, regardless if I'm in the pre-out mode of the XLR RCA or to the phones out of this. It's outputting, and it's outputting coaxial to this, and it's outputting DSD, and I didn't think that was a thing. I feel like DSD over coaxial is like a very... Either way, it's 2.82 megahertz, 47K cut DSD, which is being pumped into my Neumann NDH30s. So if we ignore what's happening here, lower that all the way. Now those are off. So now this... It's being just served. This is just this is just serving the music to this. And I could also have a fiber optic that's serving the music to something else, or like a splitter and serving literally everything else. Um, back to Ulta DSD. Dark mode, obviously you went on. Light, night light. You could put on the night light mode if you want to have it next to your bed and you don't want to have it keep you awake. There's also a rotate screen button, which completely flips it at 180 degrees. Not sideways, 180 degrees which I'm not 100% sure I would ever, like, there's no feet on top and bottom also, I should I point this out. Instead, it comes with these, either a giant silicone, very nice rubber ring, or an angled rubber wedge, so you can pick this up and go like, you put the wedge in the back and then boom, now it's presenting itself to you. And then it comes with these adhesive strips to tape it on feel like that's sort of like an interesting but yet ghetto way to do it i would probably just put it up on a shelf where it was this eye level but if it's next to your bed and you just want to keep it off the ground because there's no vents 
So there's no feet either. So this counts as the silicone foot. You literally, you get the entire brick. So put that up there. I almost forgot to talk about that. I should also say that in case you are using it strictly as a pre-out, which we now are, which we should, I'm just gonna plug everything back in while we're sitting here. Uh, there's that. There's that. We we don't need to output to the Earman. Although, one of the problems I was having, Little Green Bag, great fucking song. This is the George Baker selection. One of the problems I was having is I wanted to listen to the Cha-Amp, which I'm feeding RCA out, which means I'm feeding from the pre-out. But the speakers are also hooked up. So I'm like, well, speakers, stop. I want to hear this. And it was like, no. So... If I had the option in the menu somewhere to be like, all right, play at the same time so the RCAs can go down to a sub and then the XLRs can go to speakers, that's fine. But if I have multiple things hooked up, I want to be able to isolate them and be like, not you right now. I would have to have pulled the plug out of the wall to do that. And I feel like with a full Android build, there's got to be a way to tell it certain things. I don't know how hard that is to like dick around with. There are three buttons here, by the way, if you're back and switch... If you want to do that, if you wanted to get back to the waifu, you want to do the, I like leaving it on just the Android fucking widget player because it's just, it's just simpler. You set to shuffle, you set to repeat one, all here in the little widget. There's actually a smaller widget. Get around. I see the colors change on this. Matrix soundtrack. Old Max. We go everywhere together. Right, boy? At Pet Stuffers, we know there's nothing like a relationship between a man and his dog. Sometimes you just can't let go. God, Grand Theft Auto Vice City and all the Grand Theft Auto commercials were the best thing ever. So I paused it, and now we're going back to blue. So where were we? I am I really need to test a little bit more with the DC input because I brought out the uh, Meze 109 uh clones which you haven't seen the thy audio ghost go watch my review of the thy audio ghost these are currently wearing the meze 109 pads but they're they're good enough that i'm like i'm gonna test with these that's gonna blow something up though because it was set to this and on high so we're gonna go in here oh wait no so it's paused it's paused we're gonna po phones out then we go back down. Okay, now we go back to it. And the, the icon for ultra high is just a picture of headphones. These are going to need maybe medium. Maybe medium. And I'm going to lower the volume perfectly there. I wish it was just a play pause. I wish we, these were play pause buttons down here instead of standard shit. God damn, this sounds real fucking good now. All right, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm pause it for a second because I want to give a good assessment and I want to use my um, Nana collabs to listen because I use this for like 45 minutes to an hour before this video started. So I want to know if this is actually, because if it is, <laughs> so. Yeah, no, I'm, um, this is a, this is an improvement. This is like a legit. I don't know how, but like smoothness improvement, because it's not power. Unless they're just, unless the internal unit, because the only thing they could be adjusting with the with the DC is the headphone amp section. That's it. Because it's running Android, it's not gonna make the DAC more powerful. It's not running anything else at a, at a deficiency. It's just running dual 788 plus. They probably want to put like a massive this power supply, and they just didn't put it in by default. So I'm gonna actually give if you buy this, it doesn't come with a 12 volt. You can still run it off 110. Long term goals: spend. I'll link whatever this is. I, I bought it years ago. It was under 100, and I had to wire it myself. That's the thing. It was just raw wires, so I had to put a plug on the end of it and plug it into the wall. With I had to cut a wire up. It was an effort. I'll link to this and I'll link to something else. It's a nice 12 volt. That's my friend Dan. Because it only needs three amps, so I'll try to find like a four or five amp that's not garbage. I don't know if 11's necessary, but holy shit. I spent a good deal of time with these IMs. And I love these IMs because they're a collab IM, so obviously I love them. And now they sound like something I would display. That's America's ass. 
It's not very good recording quality, by the way. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so now the four options on the knob, which by the way, have a really good detent feel. It really like falls in. That's phones out and pre out. So that's why you're hearing the speakers. That's just phones out. That's just pre out. And if I turn it to line out, it gives you a warning. Thank the gods, because if it just went line out, I'd have a whole different outlook on this goddamn unit. I have to hit OK. If I hit OK, those speakers get full fuck line out, including all amplifiers and anything got an RCA. So the fact that it gives you a warning and then get this, if you turn it back, it just disappears, which is super nice. It also paused the music. It's like... I think I've yelled enough in videos in the past that's, that Theo must have, through absorption, just been like, you know what? Can we make the sound happen really loud instantly? We should probably put a warning and a pause in the thing and a, a key you have to turn on the side like a Bugatti. Thank God. Maybe we can get to a... I want this to change to yellow. Uh, I might have to actually search for it. Uh, great movie. So let's see, we're gonna go to this. It's loading the list of songs. Uh, are they all SQ? Where the hell's, oh wait, wait. I thought I saw a bigger one. I might be hallucinating. Oh, oh, there's some HD, hi res. Nope, still green. I guess it's not like DSD, it'll probably change or something else. I thought I had yellow, but that might've been when I was doing the fiber optic input from that which then prevented me from using this to test it, but it was still able to work. So uh, I guess I should show you that mode regardless. Uh, where was that mode? Where's mode choose? Mode choose is down here. So if I go to coaxial mode, boom, initializing, no valid signal, because we have to plug in, actually no, not coaxial, we want fiber optic. Where's my fiber optic? God damn it. Did I lose it? No, it's plugged in. We went to coaxial, we don't want coaxial. We want here, Android Pure Music, AirPlay, USB DAC, Bluetooth receiving, coaxial rune, and optical mode. Optical mode. There you go, now it's yellow. Now if I play this, Donnie Darko's playing out there. Now Donnie Darko's playing in my headphones, and the gain it was set to high. By the way, these IMs was gain high 80 out of 120. So, and I mean, here's the thing, it's pushing Argons perfectly. I, if you said, give me a combo DAC amp that can push Argons perfectly at $750, there's, there's a couple I could probably recommend, but now it's this one. I don't even know the actual written amount of power. I don't even think it's listed on here. Five levels of gain. Oh, high power to at three watts of clean power. That's the thing. I think I feel like it's delivering three watts per channel, but zero distortion at the top of it. That was always THX's thing. Like other amps, if they say three watts, it's like, yeah, three watts, but you really want to run like one and a half to two. Otherwise, you're going to distort. This full fuck clean, the cleanest, like a shiny new Ferrari. Um, I want to point out one other thing that is unique to this. And really to feel, I don't understand what they're afraid of or what they think their customer base is. So here's your display, by the way, when you're in the optical or coaxial mode, it's very boring. You don't get any waifus at all. You have to switch back to Android mode, Android mode for that. Um, you see those like openings where you have your 4.4, your 4.4, your four pin and your quarter inch? Feel provides two different covers. You can cover just the 4.4 because you're a noob or you're like me and you've switched to 4.4, you can cover just the four pin. God, why do they all have four? You can cover just this and I have only the 4.4 and the quarter inch, or you could take that out and cover everything with that. If you wanna use this strictly as a source unit for the output on the back or to use it as a music server, we're getting into the technical support. I don't want that. Um, so yeah, that's like, I appreciate it, but I think everyone who's watching this video, if you bought one of these, is just gonna be like, yeah, hold on, let me just take that off and just throw that shit in a drawer. So it's like, it's it's nice that you can make it neat. By the way, it says Zwee on here, Z-W-E-E, -E. Zwee. I like this thing, it's like a cube. It's like the 2B cube, I'm only watching the anime, I never played Nier Automata. But this, it's it's got, 
It's got the feel and the look of a high-end piece of equipment. It's not super heavy. The fact that it sounds better with a 12 volt is a revelation today. I would like to, I was analyzing it and I thought the Shandling sounded better on my speakers with the XLR outputs, which would mean the DAC would be better on the Shandling. What's a $2,200 unit? I'm wondering if, I don't know how this would be a thing, but if I change the power supply, does the DAC sound better? Because I can't judge it here. These speakers are great speakers, but this whole area is the worst for speakers. So now i got to undo my, my goo sides. God, that's pretty in there. I feel like every all these units that have beautiful insides should just let you see it. Like, even if they left this on there, if there was an LED emitter, like a couple of them on here just to illuminate that, that would look so fucking cool. Fio, what are you doing, Fio? Put a little white LED, not blue. Just to illuminate in there with a fucking application button. Anyway, I, I really like this thing. Like, this is Fio K9 levels of good. The, F the Fio K9, if you don't know, is the giant DAC amp. I've got two of them. There was an ESS and an AKM. And I love them both. I love the ESS a little more, which is nice to see the ESS is still in this. But they were fuck. It's a $900 chunk. And I think this sounds as good. And has all this other feature shit going on. So why wouldn't you buy it? Especially if you're someone who's just like, you know what? Minimalist on my desk. I'm going to a LAN party this month, which I don't know when this video is coming out, but I'm going to Fights LAN, and I might bring my Steam Deck, and that'll be my only computer. I'll bring a monitor and the Steam Deck, but I'm still going to need an amplification source, and I'm thinking, what if I brought this? Hmm. So yeah, full recommendation for this fucking thing. This thing is nice. It's beautifully built in here. Like, it's just, it's just beautifully built. I even I even don't even mind like the little wedges you have to put underneath it. If you don't want to glue them on, you can just leave more. You can use blue gray tack. Here, here's my gray tack puddle that I leave. So thank you. I think Fio sent this directly. I will try to get you guys a link to the Meanwell. If you do own one or you're planning on buying one, at least you could look into it. Because very rarely on this channel, if maybe this might even be the first time we're powering something differently like usually usually ifi stuff is like here's the internal power supply or the power supply that's like cheap and then here's the expensive one and it was the same thing with the um the burson i had the big burson not the conductor but the uh whatever and it had like the the 400 dollars gone power supply and like the normal power supply i couldn't hear a difference i actively heard a difference going to this dc power supply and it says it like if it says you're gonna have an audio improvement they must just be underpowering the amps and they just can't get their full potential. And when you do that, it just clears them right the fuck. They wouldn't include it. There's literally no reason to have two inputs if it's going to be as good as it could be with the full 110. It That just adds cost to the manufacturing. They're just taking away the cost of putting in a good power supply and saying, hey, if you really want it to be the best, yeah, buy, one, buy a thing. I don't even know how it feels. Sells one on their own. Anyway, it's probably like a 42-minute review. But at least you got, you know what? Shit, I'm gonna have to find that waifu, aren't I? You're gonna want that. I'll put that in the wallpaper hoard if I can find it. Where did I even get that on, on Reddit? Somewhere on Reddit had that. But you'll get that one in the wallpaper hoard for sure. And yeah, now this thing, this thing is a quality piece. And Fio has finally stopped. Oh no, is there smudge in this fucking lens? Oh god damn it. This is twice now. Twice now I filmed a review with a fucking smudge in the lens. Twice! I'm apolo I apologize. It's terrible. And it's such a good unit. And now you're always going to be noticing the smudge. And I had to it's just run in the lens. It's right. I put it down on something. And there must have been something there. And just poof, right into the goddamn ND filter. Anyway, I'm done. And now I'm depressed. Because fuck, I don't want to film this again. It, I did, I, I'm done. I'm done. I've explained everything. I've gone through it. I apologize for the smudge. Hashtag smudge fund. I promise you there'll be no more smudges. This is two in a week. Two in a week. Fuck. Uh. Anyway, I've cleared it off now. Now we're all good, right? We're good? Good. I wish I could just... I need to have a screen here that shows it. Or I just need to check my optics beforehand. You fucking idiot. Anyway, link to this. Wallpaper in the Horde. Patreon subscribe star. Help me um, be motivated to check for smudges on the goddamn lens. I'm so angry. Me. My bottle. Best scene in fucking John Wick. When he's like, I want my bottle. Give me another bottle. Um... Patreon subscribe to support this channel. Legitimately, you guys are keeping me going. Um, 
see reviews early for five dollars a month uh, participate in yard sales for five dollars a month get access to the sound demo oasis for all these headphones for and speakers for five dollars a month ten dollars a month private behind the scenes telegram chat so you get to ask me questions there they've been knowing about what's going on here without goo on the lens of my fucking phone since i started reviewing this thing so them they also know about this thing now um yeah and if you get into a lifetime swap me channel once you're in there i don't want to redo this video please <laughs> spend an hour and a half doing it i unplugged all the things don't make me do it all right i'm gonna end it now goodbye and i'll decide if i'm refilming this and i probably won't and it's a fucking smudge why why do you smudge why do you smudge why do you smudge two last anecdotes before this video actually officially ends a remote control for this or any of these all-in-one units would be baller i don't know how android handles remote controls but it'd be fucking sweet to have an actual infrared remote and secondly i realized that is now a thing it's a little low but it, it, could, it could work it could work it could, it, could, it could maybe work if you put like a brick on it it's very really short headphones but that it's a thing that could be a thing